<laughs> yes, it is Houdini's grave. Welcome back to One Minute Walking Tours, everyone. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day here in Machpelah Cemetery in Queens. Yes, our third borough finally made it to Queens and what more auspicious thing to do in Queens than to come and visit the final resting place of Eric Weiss, Hungarian born, uh, and his entire family in this beautiful spot here, uh, actually right off the road, um, you can see. I, I thought I'd have to come and look, but you don't. It comes right in and you're here, uh, right in. Uh, pretty much the first thing I saw, I thought I'd have to go up into the cemetery, which is actually really amazing. Uh, very densely uh, packed. Popular, I don't know, Some, uh, whatever you say about <laughs> cemeteries. Uh, but again, this is a uh, entirely Jewish cemetery. And if anyone's been watching One Minute Walking Tours for a long time, you've often heard me talk about uh, the Rural Burial Act. And this is where all of those cemeteries m removed from Manhattan come. They come out to this whole area. You can see the buildings out in the distance here. This whole area out here is the cemetery belt. And I've spoken about that before. Uh, but by 19... Um, no, I should know this. 26, <laughs> when Houdini dies. Uh, these are established cemeteries. So let's walk up and have a look at Eric Weiss's rather nice Here's the woman in mourning with her wreath. And Houdini's uh, name here. Now the bust, now this is a replica built in 2011 and it's believed to be a, a um, copy made by a group called the Houdini Commandos, which I believe is kind of like the Kiss Army. Also Kisses from Queens. Um, and it's supposed to be made from the original. Now, Bess, Houdini's wife, no, that's his mother. Houdini's wife um, gave the original, the original bust here, to the Museum of the City of New York, and that's not on display. But this has been stolen or defaced or smashed once with a sledgehammer four times. Uh, and that happened actually between 1975 and 1994. Uh, and finally, this has been, was put here uh, by his fan base, and it has uh, been here since then, uh, in, in 2011. Uh, and there's been a lot of controversy between the American Society for Magicians, that's uh, uh, Society of American Magicians, yep, yep, and, uh, and uh, the Machpelah Cemetery, uh, saying that they steal parts of the, the grave here, and they do all sorts of things. Uh, the monument come out, you know, you know, the soil would have magical properties, etc. Uh, in Jewish traditions and a number of other traditions, you place something like a stone or a coin rather than flowers, which could wilt or blow away. This is my favorite. So let's have a look. This is stone here. This is Hardin. Uh, Houdini's magician brother, Houdini would go on to do a number of uh, Houdini's uh, acts, including the milk can. Uh, and it's through analyzing Houdini's uh, film or television performances that we can actually see how hard Houdini did a number of those routines. And here is uh, Harry Houdini, Eric Weiss. He dies on Halloween, rather fittingly, uh, in 1926. And because I'm not given to superstition myself. Now, Houdini, like many things in his life, dies a kind of mysterious death. Many say he died of an attack, ruptured his spleen, he was murdered, um, he had issued a, a iron gut challenge. He could withstand a blow from any person. And the thing is, there's, there's no real proof of that. There's no proof that Harry Houdini said to anybody, I can withstand any blow. Now, problem being Houdini, he never knew whether he did or did not do things. So when someone came up, challenged him and punched him in the gut, he probably thought, yeah, I probably did do that. Now, the problem with being Houdini is you can't admit you have mortal failings. And had he gone to the hospital, and been treated for peritonitis, he probably would have lived past the age of 52. 
But honestly, Harry Houdini is immortal. Lived way, way past. His name still evokes magic, the mysterious, the occult. People still come to his grave here at Marpella in Queens, just like I am. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you here soon on One Minute Walking Tours.